Hey guys, today we're reviewing yet another camera bag. This time a really nice one. This is the Billingham Hadley Digital in Sage. Now, if you're not familiar with Billingham, this is a company that's been around uh, since the 1970s and they produce bags in a certain style and of a certain quality and a certain design that is time tested and proven. And you know, sometimes I talk about camera bags and I will say they're not really heirloom quality. Well, the Billingham bags are heirloom quality. First of all, to address the elephant in the room, and I'm not talking about my beer belly, price. These are not cheap bags. This Hadley Digital has a suggested retail price north of 200 bucks. And I'm sure it will fluctuate and the price, frankly, will probably only go up over time. So what do you get for all of that moolah? Well, in this case, you get a pretty small but incredibly well-designed and well-made camera bag. Billingham uses high quality materials. These bags are primarily constructed of a completely waterproof canvas. And obviously they have authentic leather trim and the metal hardware is brass. So they're really built of high quality stuff and they're built to exacting standards. All right, so let's take an up close look at this building and bag and see what makes it unique. First of all, this quick release locking system on the front. Again, you got brass hardware, a leather strap, and a buckle. You don't need to use this buckle. You only adjust the buckle if necessary to better accommodate the stuff you have in the pocket underneath. Otherwise, you never need to fool around with the buckle. You can open the bag with this quiet, quick release and voila the bag opens this is a huge advantage of this bag that really can't be overstated because I've said previously in certain bags you've got velcro enclosures they're noisy and they can spoil the shooting environment in certain quiet places other bags have buckles that are sometimes noisy and oftentimes a pain in the butt to fiddle around with this is quick, simple, one touch, and the bag opens silently, revealing two pockets, basically. The first pocket on the front has a snap enclosure, and this is a pocket where you put your clutter. You know, you put your hand sanitizer, a few germaphobes, you put your phone, and yes, I have the big boy plus size phone, and it fits in there okay. You put your wallet to keep it away from those pickpockets, you know, you can put uh, spare batteries, you can put lens wipes, that sort of stuff. So it's a good size pocket. I like that it has a snap enclosure. It's quick, easy access. When stuff goes in this deep pocket that takes the full frontal length of the bag, it's really not gonna be coming back out because with this snap enclosure and the overlocking flap, uh, your stuff is very well secure in there. And now just moving on to the main cavity of the bag, there is a foam padding protection on top. Some people don't like this. If you don't like it, you could fold it down out of the way. I don't mind it at all because it just flips back and reveals the contents of the bag. Inside at the moment, I have a uh, full frame camera, an A7 by Sony uh, with the baddest 25 millimeter lens. And the bag comes with two of these dividers. I've removed one of the partition dividers. They're just attached with Velcro to the side of the bag. And hiding on the other side, I have the Zeiss 55 millimeter, which you can see fits in there perfectly. But you do have a second little divider. And so if I really wanted, I could put it back the way it comes from the factory. And in this case, you can see I could probably store uh, a lens on each side and put my camera in down face down like so. So that's really a nice option. There's just enough storage space in here I think for a mirrorless body and a lens or two. You could also fit a DSLR in this bag pretty easily I think. It's a perfect size for a walkabout. Like to me 
This bag size is great. So let's take a look and see how this bag looks on a full grown large American male. Again, I really like these sort of shoulder bags just for the utility from walkabout purposes. If I'm overseas, I like having my stuff in front of me because I feel it is better protected. You know, with backpacks, you're often quite vulnerable to pickpockets and thieves. You won't have that problem with this bag for the most part. The only slight criticism one might offer is what we might call the MERS factor. <laughs> this bag is pretty nice. This is not like the type of bag that G.I. Joe would probably haul ammo around in on the front lines of battle. Yes, Buildingham is an English company and this bag has kind of an English feel to it. In fact, if you happen to own a pith helmet, I think this bag goes quite well with pith helmet. <laughs> I, I don't really have any complaints with it except of course the price but when you buy a bag like this you're buying something that presumably you're going to keep for the long term I mean from a certain point of view you invest in some bags like these building them bags and you never really have to worry about going bag shopping again so that's it guys that's the building them Hadley digital in sage it's almost a perfectly designed camera bag if you're comfortable in your masculinity and you can handle the style i think it's a really great bag i really like it and i'll be taking mine many places i'm sure if you want to pick up your own billingham bag we will put a link in the youtube description for this video to this exact model we'll also have a link to other billingham bags because they make many different sizes and different colors as always Please subscribe if you're new, Lolo Ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.